animals in their surroundings. Mira is very excited. Today she is visiting the zoo. As she walks around the zoo, she is amazed by the fact that different kinds of animals have different kinds of enclosures. The otter is swimming back and forth in the water body present in its enclosure. The well-known orangutans of the zoo are swinging from tree to tree in their slightly wooded cage. And the noisy penguins are in a very large glass enclosure which resembles the South Pole with ice everywhere. Do you have any idea why these animals are housed in different looking enclosures? It is because the enclosures represent the different habitats of these animals. And the zoo has tried to recreate the habitat of each animal in order to make them feel comfortable and at home. Each animal has adapted itself perfectly to its habitat in order to live well and survive. Let's find out more about these different adaptations of animals physical and behavioral. First, let us look into some of the physical adaptations of animals. The body structure and the physical characteristics like hair, teeth, claws, feet, beaks and so on help the animals protect themselves. Polar bears have large feet that help them balance their enormous weight on the thin ice. Frogs have large suction cups on their feet, which help them in jumping and climbing. Many water birds, like cranes, have long legs that help them wade in the water. Yorks that live on high mountains have a thick growth of hair on their body, which keeps them warm. Air on high mountains has less oxygen. Yorks have more red blood cells which help them obtain enough oxygen from air. The pattern on their skin and the skin color itself helps many animals blend with their surroundings. This helps them hunt or escape from being hunted. This feature which makes them difficult to spot is called camouflage. The stripes of the tiger help it to blend with the light and shade of the forest. The appearance of a leaf insect protects it as it is mistaken for a leaf. The snowy owl's feathers turn completely white when it begins to snow. Some animals develop certain chemical defenses that make them poisonous or unpleasant to eat. These could be venom, spray or smell. The shrew has an offensive smell that prevents many animals from hunting it. A stingray can kill or stun its prey with its powerful sting. Many animals that do not possess proper defenses imitate or copy the appearance of other animals and behave like them. This is called mimicry. For example, the ant-eating spider resembles an ant and a stick insect sometimes looks like a twig. Animals also show behavioral adaptations, which are responses or actions that help them survive. Some animals change their food habits and eating patterns when there is a shortage of their normal food. Other animals like squirrels, mice and beavers save their food for future use. Two very interesting behavioral adaptations among animals are hibernation and migration. When the weather becomes very cold and food becomes scarce, some animals fall into a very deep and long sleep. The animals lower their body temperature, conserve their energy, and do not eat or excrete during this period. This is called hibernation. Hibernation protects the animals from starving to death. Many kinds of squirrels, some kinds of bats, skunks and bears hibernate. 
They wake up when the weather becomes warm again. Many animals move into warmer places when the weather gets too cold for them. They move from one habitat to another. This is called migration. Animals migrate in search of food and better weather conditions to reproduce. Birds are a good example of migration. Some birds travel short distances, but some travel across the globe. Other animals migrate too. Some fish swim to warmer waters, earthworms move deep down into the earth, and butterflies fly to warmer places. In addition to the inborn behavioral adaptations, there are certain learned behavioral adaptations. These changes in behavior are not common to the entire species. For example, monkeys living closer to human settlements learn to eat from humans. They sit by the roadside on purpose and sometimes even attack or beg people for food. This behavior will not be found in monkeys that live deep in a forest.